Hey, good morning, Ed. Stephen Rieker here. Andrew, uh, yeah, great to see you again, Stephen. You as well, we're, we're, we're doing part two, three wellness, creating momentum. We have Kim Hui, Amy Dunlap, and Adrian Ruiz. And like I said, uh, you know, we're uh, we're with we're with three. We're creating mm -hmm. some momentum here, and uh, we're two weeks at, we're about two weeks, a little over two weeks from the uh, launch. Mm -hmm. Seems like yesterday we were out in uh, Salt Lake City, but um, uh, anyway, we uh, we had the ears. We had I, I met Amy. I was fortunate enough that I ran into Amy in the lobby of the hotel. We talked to her for a little bit. Not that we didn't meet her out there. It was just like I happened to get a photo with her. And yep. here's Steven, myself, and uh, with uh, Adrian hey. Ruiz. We got to chat with her and strategize a little bit. And, you know, it was just nice to connect with these people. Yep. And understand, because, you know, they're, they're, they're both powerful ladies that really understand this, how to promote this business, how right. to create some things. And right now, I think this little part we're sharing here is – uh. A lot of them have found a lot of healthcare professionals that really uh, see the power of three, the product line, mm -hmm. the delivery system, the absorption system. So, uh, so anyway, basically that's where we're going with this. And uh, just this is uh, Kim, Amy, and Adrian, just w with their little part about how they're still creating some a lot of momentum in their business. Right, and they're they're the leadership uh, and the visionaries behind our team and behind uh, you know the overall field sales organization. So yeah, really really powerful women that are committed to making a difference in other people's lives. Yeah, and and, and for me and Stephen, I mean, we, we realize we're in the right place at the right time with the because they they really put a lot of great things in in place that and we just plug into the system and use what we're learning from them and they're learning new things every day. So they're implementing those right in their business. So if you follow along, you can start creating some good momentum. Yep. It's a high tech game of follow the leader. Exactly right. Okay. So here we go. Absolutely right. I mean, a lot of times in, in this space, people only are caught up in chasing rank, uh, but it's not what rank is. See, once you, it's, it's not about getting to the rank. It's about how you're going to sustain the rank. And, you know, having that rank and not having to drop. And so teaching people knowing what they want and showing them the roadmap of how to get to where they are. They are. It, it's not the rank that gets, because when you do those five activities that we went over in the T-charts, right? We talk about act, helping your team to activate, help them to qualify, uh, helping them to chase the incentives and the promos, right? And then to also teach them to cycle of whatever volume they have banked. And then last but not least, it's a rank. Because when you've done these four, four, first, first four things, rank will come okay because rank is just a little bit of tweaks to make sure you meet the rules and then you get the rank so thank you for sharing that and and i love what what uh uh adrian said about the perfect game you know the reason why we get to be where we are is we play the per i mean we we step up to the game and if we didn't face some of the challenges some of the objections some of the people that say no to us some of the laugh at us we wouldn't be able to tell other people to share our story with other people to be able to inspire well, first have the aptitude to understand what people are sharing with you and when people say hey i got rejected you won't be able to answer that because if you haven't gone through it the reason why we've been put through it in the perfect game is in its perfect divinity in divine how everything's set to be it, it, maybe it's there's a reason why we this person that you love and trust so much they rejected you because then you can live and tell the story the question is do you have the courage to live through it and it's still standing and tell the story on stage so that that's beautiful and i think also credit to you both and many leaders i work with the last couple of days i mean literally non-stop you know and it is the work ethics that you all put into it. I mean, look, I mean, Adrian, 45 T-charts. And look at you, Amy. You were in San Diego. Then you were in San Jose, Northern California over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. That's work. But that kind of work is a passion, what you do. But what I like to do at this point is I actually like to ask both of you. Now, what I noticed when I'm working with your T-chart and your organization, I was actually blown away. How many medical professionals, practitioners, that you guys have in your organization. I'm like, oh my God, it's blown away. And I was also talking to Holly DeMond. I mean, she's like, oh God, for over 40 dentists or whatever, and professionals and medical in the medical field that joining her over the weekend. And so she couldn't be with us on the call today, but I wanna, and I know Adrian, Amy, you both have a main, I mean, big team of medical professionals and practitioners. Would you share with us, um, and, and Adrian first, would you share with us what is your approach 
in approaching this medical professionals in the medical field. Um, and first, that's how you approach it. Secondly, what information do you send them? And what is your follow through? So these three processes, uh, Adrian, would you share with us how you built the, uh, one of the biggest, you, you too, and, and, and Holly, the biggest medical professional groups. So Adrian, how, how would you share with us, please? Yes, yeah. So I mean, we, I, I say it really takes one good one. I think too, once you get a really great medical professional on board, I think they see the value in it so much that I really just really like to work with them. Um, you know, one of them is Dr. Bourdon. I mean, she's just fabulous. Not only did she volunteer to be on the scientific advisory board because of how she felt about the products, but she quickly learned and we kind of taught her and showed her how to incorporate it into her office. Um, and she ran with it. Um, so it's it. not every health professional is going to see that, but what every health professional wants is secure that they don't have. And here's why. If something were to happen to them or their hands or what they do, they're, that's it. They're out. Mm -hmm. So they try to make as many investments as they possibly can. My objective is to come in and ask them if they're open to earning additional income in a way that can increase their bottom line, but it's not outside of their scope, right? Mm -hmm. So when we have these wellness products, like the delivery, the science really speaks for them for itself. So I really try not to go too deeply into the science with them. I will a little mm -hmm. bit, but I say enough that it gets them excited. But what I'm really there to do is to find out if they would like to increase their bottom line and if so by how much and then we do kind of come in at more of the um preferred customer uh, way a lot of times at first because they're more interested in like this the social selling or putting a link up on their site or gathering customers um but they quickly and this happens they quickly realize hey I really need to be a brand ambassador you know, to really get this kind of, you know, going so they can open up all the eight ways to earn. So I really like to onboard them as a BA and then even though, and then help them bring on preferred customers, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's finding out how much they want to earn because a lot of times they're strapped for time. So how can we maximize their time? How can they have, you know, the product price sheet up on an, an iPad in their office and quickly show that, um, that person, oh, hey, you, you're having some information issues. How about revive and help them create a pack or just build off of a pack that already exists. Um, so they need quick tools a lot of times, I'll say. Yeah. So having just quick price sheet available. And um, I mean, yeah, it, 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 more than anything, how much, how much, are they, how much do they want to earn at the end of the month? What's going to make this worth their time is going to be your number one thing you need to know to even pique their interest or get them to take time out of their precious time. So if they say, I need, I want to earn, you know, eight to ten thousand dollars per month. Okay, now, now we got to figure out. Okay, how much time do you, are you going to fill this in, and and what are you going to say at each appointment, and is that going to distract or is it going to, you know, elevate that process, and how can we help it elevate that? process. So I think I may have just answered that super complicated. No, I want to, no, you're good. You're good. I, awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think no, I that's have perfect. Yeah. Adrian. So first that's of all, like it's, it's pretty much talking to anybody for that matter, identifying what they want. Well, how do I, you know, are they, in, are they interested in increasing their bottom line in the business profit? And most owners are, are, are open to that. And so identifying what is that they want, and then you show them a solution. Now, my question is what then let's say that they're open. So what, what's the next step? What do you send them? What do you send them a website? What do you send them a link or what do you do? Um, okay. So if I, I usually will have done a zoom. So then at that point I am going to send them, you know, really just an enrollment form and say, it'd be better if we got like max products in your office, but also that's if they have a place to, to retail those products, you know, out in their office. So I just want to try to get them as much product in as possible so that they can have it on hand for people to walk away with. And then of course, the next step is making sure that I've, I've even talked to chiropractors like IT departments and I'm like, okay, here's their link and this is the product they like. And so let, we need to make sure that these are easily clickable on their website so they don't they can point people in the right direction. If they don't have a lot of time when they're with a patient, especially a chiropractor who's using their hands, then they're gonna want something, a more digital option. So I just try to get them on board with as much product as possible to make the transition smooth. Um, yes. If they want banners or stuff like that that's fine sometimes they have like those rotating you can do like a rotating video or image or something yeah. you know like a front yeah. mm -hmm. um but even just a, any product display will do to let people yeah. know but 
I know like for sure, Dr. Bourdon being a podiatrist, people come in with her, uh, come into her for issues all the time. So mm. she almost had like a little thing where it was almost like she was writing them a script, right? Where she's wow. like, oh, we'll struggle with this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh -huh. These are the products you need. Take them to the front desk. Well, her business partner was, is her mom and her mom was a brand ambassador too. So they were able to work together to make that happen. Oftentimes yeah. finding the person who's going to help place those orders for the doctor wow. you know, in the office. Um, so yeah. But, now, Adrian, now, obviously, like we are not doctors. And so when you talk to a doctor, I mean, it seems yeah. like they have more like, you know, medical uh, knowledge than we do. So what video would you share with them? Or is there anything that you share with them about our technology that will help them to understand like they will trust a trust better or listen better than just a layman who, who's not a medical professional? What what is yeah. there anything particular you would send them? Yes. I, so the first video I am going to send is like, what, what are liposomes like Dr. Dan explaining the liposomal, you know, just delivery system. Cause I, that is what sets us apart. You guys, mm. when we, when we say what is unique about three, what, what makes us different? We're, Cause we're not a me too product. We really aren't. I don't believe that when we have liposomes mm -hmm. and cellular delivery modalities yep. that allow our nutrition to get into our bodies better. I'm going to use tools that show the doctor that, cause that's the superpower, right? A lot of them will have all these other products on their shelves already if they're already into promoting wellness. So I okay. need to get them right off the bat to understand what makes us unique, what's different. How can we make, uh, you know, how can we blow out all the other products sitting on their shelf right now by making sure that they're cutting edge delivery, right? So yeah. they need to understand that first and foremost. I will send them every <laughs> Dr. Dan <laughs> video I can, you know, on, and it depends on the doctor too. Like if it's, you know, somebody who's geared more towards weight loss, I might send more of the vitality and the collagen and the eternal. If mm -hmm. it's a chiropractor, I might send more like, you know, revive and eternal and collagen. Um, if it's like a, a regular practitioner, I'm probably going to focus in on vitality, immune, you know, like I'm just kind of thinking off my head. So I'm not leading in too big with the products. I'm leading in with what sets us apart, the delivery mm -hmm. system. Got it. Got I think it. that is the trigger point because they're like, well, okay, you know, I, I've got all these other products on my shelf from Thorn and Standard Process and all these other, why three, why three? Uh, so why talk about the mm -hmm. delivery make sure you send a Dr. Dan video because he's going to explain life is almost best. So those awesome, are the awesome. Awesome. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. I guess that's it, Stephen. <clears throat> Yeah, I got. I guess I'll have to start up there. I thought I had it a little longer. I thought we got to hear from Amy, but I guess not. Um, yeah, no, that's all right. So Next last one. Part two. Be ready. Sure. For, Stay tuned yeah. for part three. Yep. I mean, you know, just just to, to wrap it up. I mean, as, as you heard, there are a lot of doctors, um, whether it's it's uh, general practitioners, whether it's uh, chiropractors, lots of people in the medical field that are absolutely seeing the value of our unique cellular absorption technology, whether it's liposomal delivery or enzyme delivery, you know, we, we use different, or Dr. Dan, I should say, uses different uh, methods to maximize absorption of the absolute best natural ingredients into our bodies. And so, you know, doctors get it. I mean, for anybody, yeah. as she said, anybody that's already stocking and selling products to customers, the game changer continues to be, and I've experienced this as well with people that I'm sharing with, that understand, um, this space, it's, it's, it's all about the cellular absorption, the hundred percent absorption through that delivery technology. So yeah, grateful to have the opportunity to share that with you folks and, uh, you know, jump in and, and uh, be a part of our, uh, GE movement.com and reach out to Ed, reach out to me. We'd, we'd love to share and work with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, I mean, the products are working. Um, I was just, uh, talking to, uh, Stephen, my daughter's been on the products for about mm -hmm. not quite two months now, but she she's been listening to people talk about their uh allergies this spring mm -hmm. and she's like boy i i didn't even think about it but my allergies have really not been quite as bad and dr dan was saying the, the immune product how it works in your gut it, it it just it really creates a whole different uh system in your body that you know helps with allergies with a, a lot of a lot of things going mm -hmm. on you know yeah well i mean even even here in new jersey we've got all that smoke that uh, forest fire oh, smoke from canada down. has that made it down to you as well ed yeah yes yeah. so, uh, i uh, i noticed it today it was a little actually my daughter i was talking to her yesterday and we were talking about the allergy thing and she's like 
that did, yeah, our air quality is supposedly the worst, you know, if you're out walking. I'm like, well, you know, it's not too I, – I just was joking with it. I said, well, I'll hold my breath while I'm walking. Just, uh, yeah, you know, no, I mean, I was out walking in it yesterday and didn't even think about it, although I noticed there were very few people out yesterday. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, now I know why. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. So, yeah, I, know, I heard New York and probably parts of Jersey, and it, it's kind of coming down. I, I don't know what it's going to be like today, but yeah, I'll, I'll be out on the trail anyway. So uh, yeah, same, same, same. No, I mean, yes, the afternoon before yesterday, I really noticed it in the sky. I thought there was just some sort of a local brush fire in somebody's yard, and then you know, somewhere in the neighborhood or whatever. I had no idea there was anything going on until another friend brought it to my attention yesterday. So yeah, so any, whether it's that or whether it's uh, pollen or, or whatever else, it's it's good to uh, to have uh, give our bodies every fighting chance to uh, stay healthy around all those environmental factors. So. Yep. Yeah, good stuff. All hey, right. Hey, we'll hey, we, we've learned a good, strong immune system is the key. So anyway, uh, we're going to leave it at that. Yep. We'll bring you part uh, three tomorrow and uh, look forward to connecting again. So All right. go to pemovement.com. Yep. Have a great day, folks. Thanks yeah, for joining buddy. us. Bye for now. Hey, bye. See you,